Mike, Jim, and Brandon back here on BTN Live. The news from Ann Arbor is that a freshman will be the starting quarterback for the Wolverines. Shane Morris, a very highly touted recruit, will be the QB because Devin Gardner is out for the bowl game. Here's what the Wolverines have to say on the change. Preparation uh, has been has been uh, a lot, and uh, I've been getting ready to play be the starting quarterback for the University of Michigan, and like I have been since since week one. But uh, it's taking it kind of to a new level in the past couple of weeks, and uh, I feel like I'm prepared to play. Shane's been a lot of prime time. You know, when you look at his high school career, the games he's played in, uh, the different competitions he's gone to, when you look at the Elite 11s and those things, and, and those are pressurized. And he's got a, a great team of guys behind him who are going to be out there supporting him. Uh, you know, our offensive line and, and all those guys will do a tremendous job. So for more on this, Angelique Shingalis joins us now from the Detroit News. How will this Michigan offense be different, Angelique, with Shane as the QB as opposed to Devin? Well, I think, Mike, they got to scale it back a little bit. I mean, he is a freshman. He's played sparingly in four games this year. And I, I think that they'll put more of an emphasis on the running game. Of course, they, Michigan has wanted to do that all year and not had a lot of uh, success, as, as we all know. But, but I think with a freshman in there, you've got to try to keep this guy off the ground. As we also know, in this latter part of the season, Michigan gave up a lot of sacks, a lot of tackles for loss. And, and I think they've got the offensive line has to play its, its best game and the running game has to really click to protect this guy. And, you know, I, I'm not saying that Shane Morris isn't capable of throwing the ball. He's got a very strong arm. He's, he's a left-hander. He's got skill, obviously. He just doesn't have any experience. He's thrown the ball, like you're saying, not much, only nine times in his college mm -hmm. career. And yet the flip side is he's been practicing with the ones for about three weeks right now. So in general, how ready is he to play in this bowl game? I've had a chance to, to watch a few practices here in Arizona, Mike, and, and he looks very poised. He, he looks very comfortable. I mean, he's a very popular guy on this team. Even as a youngster, he had committed so early to Michigan out of De La Salle, which is a, a, a team at a high school not that far from Ann Arbor, and so he was around the building a lot. Even guys who are sophomores and, and, and juniors said so they, they felt like the guy was already in school, even while he was still in high school because he was visiting. So there's a comfort level with him. And, and I think that, that he's, he's got a good locker room presence is, is what I'm trying to say. And, and I think that, that his arm is very strong. One of the guys told me that he can, he can throw 70-plus yards and, and done that in warm-ups. So they feel good about his arm strength. The knock on, on Shane Morris coming into to college was could he develop more touch? I mean, he throws a bullet, but can he, can he just have a little more finesse? And, and I think that was a focus Proud board just working with him all season and, and certainly during these, these bowl practices is working on his touch, working on his finesse, and, and trying to make him a little bit more of a, of a complete package as a quarterback. We're learning now that despite the turf toe that Devin Gardner has, that it's, according to some reports, a broken foot, too, and that he got that early in the third quarter against Ohio State but stayed in the game and scored multiple touchdowns after that point. What does that say about Devin? It's interesting you ask that because I asked uh, Fitz Toussaint, Michigan's uh, senior tailback, that, that question uh, on Thursday, Mike, and he said it means that, that Devin Gardner's got the toughness stamp on his forehead. And, and I think that that's one thing that every player has talked about, talking about Devin Gardner all season. I mean, he's been really banged up all year, shoulders, ankle. I mean, he's just been taking a beating certainly since, since uh, the November, the game in, at Michigan State in early November. And, and since then, he just took a beating this season. And uh, I think that, that it just shows what a tough guy this is. I, I think he proved a lot to his teammates last year by moving to receiver when he really wanted to play quarterback. And, and I think this took his, his level of respect among his teammates to another level, knowing how he played, how hurt he was, and what he was able to do even while he was hurt. Wolverine insight you can only get from Angelique Shengelis. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Mike, thanks so much.